everybody, it is time for another Sunday plan with me. I am filming the week of January 15th to the 21st and yeah, it's week three, you know, of the year and I'm going for it. I'm going for white space. I am super, super nervous because I've seen so many people struggling with it because of the format of the new Erin Condren. Very confusing. But I'm going to give it a go So because I've got a bunch of beautiful mini kits and I wanted to, you know, this year I want to explore more white space planning and see how I like it. So I have this mini kit from the Hummingbird Planner. It's really, really gorgeous and it's super unique colors. I can't remember, I picked it up a while ago, but it was giving me kind of wintry vibes. So I saved it for January and yeah, I really, really liked, I haven't actually used it yet, but I really like the format of their uh, mini kits because it's really, really simple. It's not too much stuff, but it's got everything that you need. So I did, first of all, pick up the a la carte glitter headers because I felt like these colors were really unique. Indeed, when I was trying to find stuff to pull in, I was struggling a bit. So I figured it would, would be difficult to find glitter headers to match. So I just purchased the glitter headers as an extra and this is on their new thinner matte paper by the way and then the kit itself is just three pages so really simple it is a functional page here that's it's so it's different from your uh all the pages are different except oh this one's the same actually so yeah so this this page is the same so this is your full box sheet and it has your patterned quarter boxes squared off quarter boxes on the bottom so this is the same as in the full kit and then this page is your functional page here and this is different so you've got your heart checklist you get one weekly ombre four solid uh quarter boxes you get a smattering of headers that can be used in the sidebar you get two habit trackers flags for the corner, two solid flags, a selection of script and functional deco and icons. It's not as many as with the full kit, so I'll have to remember that in terms of which things I have and such. And then the third sheet is your bottom washi. It has also, I think this is one big strip. Yeah, one extra big uh, bottom washi or washi strip rather there. And you've got your four pattern and four solid half boxes and two small flags for the old EC and your weekend banner. So yeah, that's the format that we're working with. Now, what I wanna do, I think I'm gonna work from the top down. So, I'm gonna start with a glitter header across the top, and I i don't wanna do, I wanna do scattered colors, uh, cascading colors, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna start with a glitter header across the top, and then here's my plan. It might not go according to plan, but my plan is glitter header and then checklist. So I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna, I move for the first time in a long time, move my uh, to-do list back to the top. Cause whenever I do white space, I just find it difficult to like ha have the to-do list at the bottom. I don't know why really, but it's just easier. So I'm gonna go with what's easier, especially since this is my first time attempting white space in this, in this planner. So glitter header and then checklist. And then second glitter header. But here's the thing. I don't want to see any of this. I don't like this. I don't like this. these dots. I don't want to see them. So my goal is to have my glitter headers covering up all the dots. We're going to see. So yeah. And then so it's going to be glitter header, checklist, glitter header. And then in the bottom two sections, I want to alternate full boxes because I thought that would just be a little more visually interesting than having just a, a line of full boxes across the bottom. And then the glitter headers in a row here. So I'm gonna go from the top, work from the top down to see if my bottom washi needs to get pushed up or down or what, or do glitter headers need to get overlapped? Who knows, but that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start with glitter headers and checklists, and then we're gonna move on to placing my full boxes with glitter headers as well, and then the bottom washi. So I'm gonna do all of that now sped up.
Okay, so that was a journey and a half. Um, so the first part went great. So the glitter headers, and I knew this was going to happen, but it was totally fine. I knew that the um, the checklists were flags were going to overlap the glitter header a bit, but that's totally fine because it's only the bottom flag part, so I can still write on all the checklists. And then things started to go awry, so I messed up the cascading colors, so they're not actually in a perfect pattern, but they're scattered well enough, so I think it's fine. Like, visually, it looks nice. Like, it looks like they're all, all the colors are scattered around, so that's totally fine. But it's just so difficult because you're lining up, like, trying to line up side to side, and it got off a couple of times. I mostly covered for it. The only place is here you can still see the bottom row of dots, so I don't know what happened. Something got off somewhere. But... Yeah, and then I had so much room at the bottom, I didn't really wanna just push the bottom washi up here and have this huge blank space at the bottom, so I decided to just use my last set of glitter headers, so I actually used all the glitter headers, which is great, and put those across the bottom, and I really do like how it looks actually, but yeah, it's all experimentation, so we'll see, and then maybe next time we'll try a different tactic, but yeah, so for this week, I liked how that looked, and then I still just put the bottom washi in the regular place instead of pushing it really far up, so I think I like that. I also put the flags in the corners. I love these flags. They've got the little birds on them. Really cute. So yeah, I think we are ready. First thing I do want to do before I forget, I do want to put my weekend banner in, but I'm going to put it in the bottom washi, I think. Or I th maybe I'll like overlap it kind of with the bottom washi and the bottom glitter headers there. Perfect. Okay, so yes, now I think we are ready to go day by day. So let's zoom on in here and go to Monday. So for Monday, I have this week, very exciting for people who may have been bored with my plan with me because I basically do the same thing every week. Well, get ready because this week, everything's getting mixed up and turned around. Very exciting different stuff going on. So my Monday is not my usual Monday. Let's see, I do have a bill due, but there are no bill dues in the mini kit, which is totally fine because I've got plenty of extras. So I pulled in this pale pink one. This is leftover from a Harriet Wright Designs kit and I thought it was a good match. So I'm gonna put this in here or here maybe. I think if I put, I think if I put this here, it's not covering too much of the pattern of the box. Yeah, that's fine. And it's off a little bit, but I think it's too late. That's okay. So that, oh, sorry, can you see that? Yeah, so just put it in the bottom of the box there along the glitter header. So that is for my internet bill due on Monday. And then I don't actually have anything specific to put in the to-do list because usually on Mondays I would be going to get my lunch groceries. However, I'm not gonna have time. I'm gonna be gone all day Monday and I'm gonna need to like bring my lunch. So I will have to get those on Sunday when we do our regular food shop, which is not the end of the world, so. First thing I have on Monday is a lecture. So I am teaching a class this semester. I'm co-teaching. And so the first lecture I'm not actually giving, but I'm gonna be going. So I won't need to make it, I won't make it as big, but I did pull in these teacher emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I think I might just put that first thing and just write it in the white space there. But I have pulled in because, you know, I like to check everything off. So I don't really wanna just check off that whole emoji. So I have pulled in my sheet of Hummingbird Planner dots and I thought this pale green would be a good match. So I will just put that dot there and that's how I will check that off. So that is for the lecture. And then I have a meeting with my with the person who I'm co-teaching with. So for that, I think I wanna use one of these beautiful decorative quarter boxes. And that's right after, so I will just put that there. And then for that, there is like this coffee icon with the kit, so. I think that's appropriate for a meeting. So I'm gonna take this flag. Yeah, I'm gonna take this maroon flag here and I'm gonna put this for, uh, this is gonna be just for working. I usually write 
on Mondays working from home, but I won't be home and it doesn't, I'll be all the way on campus and it won't really make sense to like go all the way home. So I am just gonna do my work uh, on campus in one of the one of the rooms there so for that I pulled in my little paper prints laptop stickers so for the first week in a long time I'm not using my work from home stickers which is pretty wild but I do like how that looks so that is for most of the day and then in the evening I do have a meeting but I don't want to cover up this entire full box can I lift this up at all is it gonna Yes. Okay. That is better. I like that much better. So yeah. And I don't really mind that it's a little bit different. I think it's a little more visually interesting actually. So that is cool. So the bill due is in the to-do list now, which makes more sense. And then down here, that's where I will put, which makes sense because these three activities go together because they're all on campus. And then I can put my, here we go. I want to put a green, I feel like that won't contrast enough. So I'll get the pink box and I'll just put that right over where I had the build you because it'll cover some of the, the residue that's still there. And for that, I'm going to use these clinking glasses icon from the kit. So that will be for my meeting in the evening. Great. Okay. I really like how Monday turned out actually. And that is it for Monday. Moving on to Tuesday. Let's see. So I think I'm going to work evening up again. In the evening, I am speaking on a panel at a university. And for that, I think maybe another, another quarter box. Yeah, maybe a pattern one instead. That's cool. And for that, let's see, I'm thinking of using, I was thinking of using these. These are actually like meeting emojis from Coffee Monsters Co. But they sort of make sense, like for, I use them for like presentation type stuff. So I think I'll just take one of these and put that there and do I have room for a dot? I think if I make room, I will, you know, I'll have one. So just put a dot in the corner there for checking off purposes. And then during the day, I'm gonna be spending the day in the library. So for that, I'm gonna take one of the quarter boxes and do I wanna do a pattern? Kind of busy already actually so maybe i just want to do like this one and for that i have pulled in my british library scripts from the hummingbird planner of course and for that i do have a laptop from the kit. Oh, it's like the same color as the box. Maybe I like that actually. Yeah. Okay. We'll embrace it. <laughs> and for that, I'm going to put it a little off center and then I'm going to pull in another dot to check that off. And then in the morning, since my, my workouts are going to be all wonky next week because Monday and Wednesday mornings, which are two of my usual workout times I'm not going to be able to so on Tuesday I want to do one as well and my gym doesn't have any classes on Tuesday so that I could go to so I think I'm just going to do a yoga video at home so let's see for that I could probably put it in the to-do list honestly because it is kind of a, like a, a to-do. It's not an event where I'm going anywhere. So for that, I did pull in my Lucinda Charlotte Designs yoga stickers. And I'm just going to take this pale pink yoga mat. And yeah, I think just like cover up the first to-do. Since I don't have anything else to put in the to-do list at the moment on Tuesday anyway. So I think that works. Cool. And that's actually it for Tuesday. So moving on to Wednesday. The first thing is it is payday. So I have this payday sticker with the kit and I am just gonna put it right up here because I'm not, there's no date covers or anything like that. So, uh, or deco. So might as well take 
all available space and use the space up there. Also in the to-do section, I want to put my midweek spread. So I've got this pale green Instagram sticker on my sheet from Chocho and Mimi. And I think I'm just going to put it alongside the bottom checklist there, the bottom heart on the checklist. And while I have this sheet out, I'm going to do the same for Sunday with, I guess this green. None of them are going to really match perfectly, so that's all right. Cool. So those are for my midweek and end of week spreads. I've also got these Lucinda Shard Designs nail stickers, and these are super, super big, but let's see if I can put one, maybe not. I don't know. I'll hold off on that for a sec. Let's see. I'm going to kind of jump around with Wednesday while I try and figure out how I can fit everything in that I need to fit in. So one thing, it is my cousin's birthday. So I picked this box here because I thought it would look nice as kind of a frame. So if I take a quarter box, maybe this, this one here and put it in the middle there and then put this, oh, it matches, so that's cool. This cake icon. So that is for my cousin Maya's birthday. I also want to put, let's see, let's work from the bottom up again. So in the evening, I wanna have some reading time. So I pulled in my little reading emojis and I'm just gonna take the tiny one and put it right at the bottom there and Take another one of my dots and put it over there. And then during the day, so all day, I am at this uh, sort of, I think I want to use this box for that. Uh, it's like a, what would you call it? It's not like a conference. It's like a seminar. That's what it is uh, for, for final year PhDs. They do one for like every year of your PhD. So this is the one for third years, uh, and yes, yeah, so I'm going to be at that all day, hopefully getting some good tips and info. And I'm trying, if I push it down. Okay, I was, I had to change around which stickers I wanted to pull in, so I pulled in these laundry emojis instead because, again, they had the tiny ones. So if I push this all the way down against that uh, emoji there, then I can take another equally tiny emoji, maybe just... Which one? The one with the laundry basket. And I can just put that there with another little dot the same way I did with the reading and that will just be for laundry because I do still need to get laundry done at some point on that day. So yeah, I think that works. And then they're kind of uh, a little uh, sandwiching this half box here and this is for, as I said, the the kind of all day seminar. So for that, I'm gonna pull in the same meeting emojis again. This is just gonna be an emoji filled spread and I am excited about it. So I think that is appropriate. And then yet another dot for checking off purposes. The only other thing I have to mark is nails and I think, yeah, I think these just aren't going to fit. They rarely do. So I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to write it in. I don't really have any other stickers to pull in. So I'm just going to, just going to leave that be. And I will just write it in the to-do list. And it's not, not the end of the world. So moving on to the second page. Thursday, what do we have? Let's see. Well, we've definitely want to put folding the laundry. So for that, I'm going to take the icon from the kit, the kind of hanger icon. I'm also going to film my plan with me on this day because I won't have been able to do it on Wednesday. So it'll be a bit of a late filming sesh. So for that, I pulled in my film edit and upload stickers. So for starters, I know I'm going to want to edit the same day. So my Saturday video, I've already filmed, edited, and uploaded this current week that we're in, so that's great. So it's only the plan with me that needs to get done since it's a, such a busy week and I don't wanna have to do both. So yeah, I'm gonna wanna edit the same day for sure. 
and then I'm gonna wanna upload on Friday. So while I have this sheet out and I'm already open, I will put that down on Friday as well. And then in terms of filming, well, I think, I think maybe we'll work from the bottom up again because I'm not sure. Well, I could put it in this box and it wouldn't be that big a deal. So I'm gonna put a half box here. And this is for the British Library again. So I've got my British Library scripts. And this time I'm gonna take the regular icon. And I guess I'm just gonna take a dot again, even though I don't mind checking off a regular icon, but just to make it match the way that I did it on Tuesday. So that that works. And then I do have this half box that matches. Hmm, I like this idea. So it's still kind of decorative. And in there, I'm gonna put my film script and I'm gonna put this camera I want to do like an angle, and then do I want to do my dot? I think so, yeah, okay, cool. So that is for filming, and I'm just gonna check it off there. Back down here, I just wanna put, having a nice, a nice relaxing bath. So do I wanna put a quarter box, or I could use, I could use a flag actually, just to mix it up a little bit. So we could take, Take that, and then I wanna layer this Me Time sticker as well. So I can write, oh, I have my bath, I have my bath scripts as well. So I could put bath in the flag. And then to check it off, I pulled in these. Which one's this green maybe? No, it's not. I mean, it's hard to get. They're, this is like, these greens are really unique. So nothing I pull in is really a perfect match. Maybe just like this dark one. Would that look good? <laughs> I feel like that looks good. Yeah? Is it too like orange? I don't know, I don't know. I th I'm gonna use it, whatever. And then I'm just gonna kind of layer this me time nearby. Is that what I want? Or do I wanna put it like the me time down here? I kinda wanna do that. And then move this farther out a bit. Yeah, I like that. And that is it for Thursday. So moving on to Friday. Friday I've got quite a bit on as well. I've got another bill due. So I'm trying to think how I want to figure that out. Cause I already, I already did put this, but I could probably I'm gonna do the same, but I think this is a bigger. So I pulled in this freebie from Vintage Rose Studios that has this pale green bill do. That would kind of work if I did the same as Monday. Maybe I want to do that. And then for uh, my to-do list as well on Fridays, I always put clearing my emails and backing up my files. So I think I'm gonna try and fit those on one line and I like to, in the, the new Hummingbird Planner kits, use that little uh, push pin for that. It just reads like admin stuff to me, I don't know. So I can put files and emails there and then I've still got two checklists to work with for the day. Awesome, so moving on to the today section, I think we're gonna work top down for this one and for the morning, I've got a uh, gym class. So for that, do I want to use, what do I want to use? I think maybe just a nice, a nice solid 
quarter box here and it's weightlifting class. So I'm going to take the weight icon from the kit. Great. Then I am working at home and I do have my work from home stickers. However, I have a system with my work from home stickers that I don't want to mess up. So I have three sheets because I, in, in a typical week, I work from home three days out of the week. So I use the same color, one from each sheet to across one week. So if I just took one now, then it would mess up my whole system and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to mark working from home in a different way. And I say that while I'm looking, aha, I thought I lost these. So I have my little paper prints laptops, which I use to mark uh, my work on Monday and I did that with a flag, but now I'm out of flags. So I think I might just put it, just put this lab laptop in, in the white space there and just write work from home next to it. And then let's see, oh, I do want to fit, I want to fit a half box. Oh no. Okay. Hang on. I do want to fit a half box for the evening. So let me put that in and then can I just overlap this a little bit? Yeah. Is that too crowded? I do have smaller ones, but then I feel like it's weird if I in one week use like different versions of the same sticker. So maybe it's weird. Maybe it's not. I think that's fine. I don't mind a little bit of overlap there. That's cool with me. And then, yeah, so here I want to put car icon. But I think I'm gonna put this little, one of these little flags, I did this last time as well, because the car is kind of tiny. And then I can also check off in the flag if I, if I want to do that. So there we go, I think that works nicely. So that is for my meeting on Friday evening. And then the only other thing on Friday is I finally have TV shows. So I have two TV shows because Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder are both back Oh my goodness, it's very exciting. So for that, I think I'm going to take this like floral quarter box and just stick it in the middle of my full box and use the TV icon from the kit and I'll put them both in there and it'll be very exciting because I'll finally have TV shows to watch. <laughs> So that is everything for Friday, busy day. Moving on to the weekend, weekend is less busy. So Saturday evening, we are having a game night with, or having a bunch of friends over. It's gonna be a great time, I'm really excited. So I'm gonna take a half box in the evening for that. And of course I have pulled in my game night stickers. I pulled in the card ones from once more with love because I think we're gonna be playing more card games. And what do I wanna put like, I don't know. I think I wanna put like the Munchkins playing cards and then like that. And then I think I can just, I'll just write in game night and then and the times and everything. And then bring in one of my dots in the corner for checking it off. Cool, I like that. And then let's see, in the kind of morning slash day Saturday, I don't actually know what I'm doing yet, so I think I'll leave that blank for now. I do have some to-do items to put in. So I have feeding my sourdough starter, but there's no teeth icon in this kit, which is kind of weirdly what I usually use for that. I've also used a box in the past. I've used, I think that, I, I'll use that, that's fine. I could also, I could also use this. No, I think I'll use the, the box icon. That's fine. So that'll be for feeding my sourdough starter. I also need to do my weekly chore, which is cleaning the kitchen this week. So I'll just put this vacuum functional deco across from the heart for that. And then the only other thing on Saturday I have is my Saturday video going up. I think I might just put my YouTube videos in the to-do list because I don't. it doesn't really make sense, but whatever. Just because there's no there's no sort of little things with this kit, and I don't want to, I don't think it's necessarily like quarter box worthy. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna take my YouTube emojis and just take this little one holding 
a YouTube icon and I'm just gonna put it down there and I'll write my video and the checking it off will be what I always do which is just check that it went up and published successfully and it looks good and everything like that so yeah and that is everything that I know for now for Saturday I'm sure something will get filled in here as I as I know it but I don't yet so moving on to Sunday Sunday is more difficult because um, you know without having a sort of traditional little thing section because Sunday is the day that I do all of those little things so that's why I put a kind of unexceptional full box in case I end up having to cover that up so let's see first thing it is another payday so for that I've also I'm pulling back out this freebie from Vintage Rose Studio because it also has a payday and oh, can I fit it so I put it here but I don't want to cover the flag so what if I do like that yeah that's fine cool so let's see, I think it's gonna be a lot of stuff going into the to-do list. First thing probably will be food shop. So I'm gonna take this grocery icon to mark that. Then I'll also wanna do my receipts. So I'm gonna take these, this like credit card uh, functional deco, put that there. I've also pulled in these face mask stickers. Can I use the green one? No, it's like much brighter. That's the thing is like I have all these green stickers and I'm like, oh, I can pull them in, but it's just such such unique green. So I guess I'll just pull in or the pink one. No, the pink one's too bright. I guess I'll just pull in like this gray one. And does that work to cover that up like that? And I'll add a dot for that. So food shop receipts, face mask, that's my end of week spread. And this is gonna get used as well. Actually, okay, I'm rethinking this. I think I might put face mask in the today section, just like at the bottom there. I usually do it in the evening. Or do I want to even put it actually, actually, in, in the full box? Yes, that is what I want to do, okay. Because I also want to put planning next week. So I think that might be what I cover up uh, two hearts for. So that will be, I usually use a next week header, but there isn't one with the kit. So I'll just use the planner functional deco and I can write plan next week in there. And then I also have my plan with me going up. <laughs> Maybe food shopping will go in the today section. So maybe, maybe if I take, yeah, if I take the receipts up here instead and then a YouTube emoji here for my plan with me. And then I've got, let's see. So then I want to put, my plan is to do my final um, workout of the week on Sunday instead. So I'm going to take a quarter box and this workout uh, script from the kit to hopefully do that. And then we'd be doing the food shop after. So I think, I think for that I'll just put the... Yeah, I'll just put the icon right there just to keep the white space looking good. And then this is going to be left blank because I don't know what else we're doing during the day on Sunday. But the final thing I know for Sunday is that we have a TV show on as well. So I think I'm going to take the last quarter box and, oops, there we go. The last quarter box there and put in... Let's see, maybe maybe movie night sticker? I mean, we're not watching a movie, but, but it's kind of something we like to do on a Sunday evening. Yeah, I think I'll use that, whatever. I use, I use movie night to mark watching TV shows all the time. I just really like that, that sort of script. Let's see, do I wanna add maybe a dot? as well yeah let's do it so this will be for 
the um, for Mick Mafia. It's like a BBC show that we've been watching. So we'll sit down on Sunday evening and have a nice time watching our show. And yeah, and then I have some space to fill in anything that we might do during the day. So great. I think we are ready to move on to the sidebar. Oh, wait, actually. Hmm. Okay, because here's the thing. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so I won't be able to put a checklist in my sidebar, which means that there's certain things that I'm going to need to put throughout the week. One of those is journaling, which I do on Sunday, but the only other space to put an icon is over here. So, okay, yeah, I also need to put journaling. And I have this book icon that I want to use for that, but if I put it there, that's going to look kind of dumb. Okay, maybe if I move, going to be okay coming up. Yeah, took up a little bit of ink, but I don't think you can really tell because it's a glitter header, so there's like white in it anyway. So if I move this uh, sticker for my end of week spread up and then cover up this last heart with the book, then that is for doing my journal. Excellent. So I forgot I was gonna have to put that in the to-do list because I'm not gonna be able to fit a checklist in the sidebar. So I have that. And then I also, on the same vein, am gonna need to mark calling my mom. So I usually, if I put that on any day, I usually put it on Tuesday because if it's gonna get done on a certain day, it's most likely that day. So I have my phone sheet and I think this is a pretty good match so this is from the hummingbird planner as well so I'm gonna just put this here on Tuesday for calling my mom the other thing that was in my sidebar list or my like not day specific to-do list was making a hair appointment which is the kind of thing that like I'll use a cute sticker for if I have one but I don't have one so it's fine I'll just put it I'll just put it on some random day, it doesn't really matter, in my to-do list. So, now moving on to the sidebar. I have my last box, which is, I guess it's, I guess it is technically the quote box. It does have a word in it. Um, but I'm gonna put this pretty much as high up as I can. Great. And then I've got two habit trackers as well. Um, yeah, I was thinking I was thinking of like demarcating them with a this week header. I don't know. I thought that would kind of be a good way to start off the sidebar. Since I don't I don't have extra glitter headers because I did use four on each day is how many that come with it so we've got our habit trackers here and then I'm gonna do a work header and this beautiful weekly box I love this color amazing and that is for my schoolwork However, because I didn't do little things section and there was no little things section, I don't have my meals and I still want to track those. So I'm going to put a dinner header, dinners header. So I haven't put my dinners in my sidebar in literally like probably 18 months. And I pulled out these multicolor weekly ombres from Harriet Wright Designs and I'm going to take this pale pink one. And I'm going to use that to track my meals. And then we've got a bit of space at the bottom. So for that, I'm gonna take the leftover bottom washi, but I think I wanna cut it toward the top because I really like the, the sort of graphic floral. So I don't think I did that straight at all. Cool, so I cut a bit at the top and then I'll still have to cut a bit at the bottom as well. Yeah, this is really difficult when you can't take the pages out to cut stuff off, but that's okay. Okay, 
Yeah, and I do like how the bottom kind of matches with the bottom washi there. Let's see, finishing touches. I'm also thinking I like to sometimes have a to buy list or a space where I can put uh, something to get. There's all, I think I only need, mm, I don't think I'm gonna need to get that much stuff. So I'm just gonna take this to buy header and on Tuesday where I don't have a lot of to do's, I think I might cut into a flag though. I will just use the last heart of my checklist as a little to buy. Because usually as I'm going throughout the previous week, something comes up where I'm like, oh, I need to get, you know, fill in the blank, X, Y, Z, and um, then I'll put it in there. And then I always like to have a to clean weekly list as well. But for that, I'm gonna keep it in the sidebar of my personal planner, which is exactly what I did this current week. And it worked out well because I could only have work and then I, I chose to have a, um, a weekly checklist. So yeah, I put my cleaning tasks in the sidebar of my personal planner and that worked really well. So I'll just do that again this week. And yeah, I think that is everything that I know for now. So let's zoom out, take a gander at the finished spread. I really, really like this. I think it turned out really gorgeous. And yeah, and it's still pretty white spacey. I do like to, you know, to fill up a lot of the space, but or use a lot of, you know, the half boxes and things like that. But I think this kit is great that it doesn't come with too much. So I still have a decent amount of white space going on. And I really like these colors. I think they're interesting for the winter. And yeah, I was able to pull in a lot of cute emojis and things like that. So. Let me just show you what I have left over. I used everything on the glitter header sheet. I used all the glitter headers. I have two half boxes and one tiny flag yet left that may or may not get pulled in throughout the week, but they are solid so I can save them for potentially other spreads if I don't use them. And then I used most of this sheet. So you, you get eight checklists. So I have an extra checklist there and I have two headers as well as some scripts and functional deco and icons. These will definitely be getting pulled in as the week goes on. And I use everything on this sheet. So yeah, I really hope you like this video. If you wanna see the spread all filled in with all the final plans laid out and everything like that, then follow me on Instagram, it's ev underscore plans. And I post my midweek and end of week spreads there for you to see. And yeah, I really hope you like this plan with me. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And please, please, please subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.